Hello, my lovely Scorpio. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Scorpio, today we'll do a weekend reading. This will be for this full moon this weekend, and the full moon is in Sagittarius also is considered a strawberry full moon since it's June loves, it's summer. Let's hear what we have for you, what the energy flows for you. Also we have a penumbral eclipse which will be for several hours so strong energy definitely here we come. And definitely this summer it's full full of energies and Take it as it is, loves, because this energy is either enjoy it, either it is not. All right, this weekend, from the time you view this video or from the 5th going to the 7th, for some of you could be even longer time. As you know, these readings are way bigger than just a few days. But my spirit inclined me today to do this reading for the weekend. So let's see here, Scorpio, what's bring this full moon or what the energy for this weekend? Sun, moon, rising signs and Venus signs for all of you loves. Take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. Let's see here, what do we have from Daily Guidance Angels? We have relationship. Look at here, somebody here, it is sticking with you. But I feel here there is a good energy around the relationships you are. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. To attack, attract, heal or balance a relationship. Then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel so safe and loved within, so shall your other relationship bloom and prosper. For many, many of you, for those of you who do struggle in your relationships, I feel here many times starts with us. Be in the energy with you, good energy, and surrounding yourself with that energy. So that will come to you in different forms, right? And underneath the deck we have giving and receiving. There's definitely something here about giving and receiving. And also, as you see here, this kangaroo here has a baby here. There's something also about the little gestures, little things. Also being more joyful, more, more colorful in the things you do. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, replenishment balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. Definitely in any relationship, either it's love, either it's work, either it's family, it is a give and receive. Beautiful energy. As we have the green cards here, you might deal here with an earth sign or somebody who is very much earthly energy or somebody who has a lot of earth in the chart. Let's see here, Scorpius, what we have for this weekend, what's the energy surrounding you, what you need to know, what's the prediction here on around this full moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion. And I feel here, for many of you, it is like an eye-opening to expand things. For some of you, you might thinking to expand your family. For some of you, you just bas basically expanding your energy towards people who are surrounding you or those who you truly love and loves you. Scorpio, overall energy here, it's abundant, is about confidence, being confident in your own energy. And I feel here there is a thing here about taking care of you. Although I feel here I'm, I'm talking with a Scorpio who have been through a lot. And I definitely see you a very strong good, balanced mind. Beautiful. You might deal here with a Leo. 
doesn't need to be but also I've been seeing this ten of pentacles something here is also about abundance let's see here five of swords hierophant Taurus energy here eight of swords it's something here about talking expressing things about don't feel free somebody wants to be free in the speech in the talk cancerian energy eight of wands four of cups somebody here you might be in a commitment scorpio here with somebody but i feel here there's not a fully give and take in here also one of you might feel very much in the past whatever the past done to them and it's hard for them to move forward okay although there could be some good energy coming here so whoever is a Scorpio here I feel here you are mostly single or you could be connected with somebody but that person feels like they cannot get over something you might talk to them to go and see them and that there might be a reunion but I feel here is not that reunion you truly wanting it okay because something here it is offered but is not balanced there is an opportunity of being together but somebody refused to see the better picture also somebody here might have all the ideas about commitments they need to get over it okay because I don't feel here it's it's like happiness I feel here you are the strongest person in here or the strongest energy here but I don't feel it's how give and receive you do see love from this person but I don't feel it's opened it's like you do open but I don't feel this person for this person it's very hard to open they could be sorry for saying screwed in the past they may have obligation towards somebody from their past still okay you do want to be with them in a union and I feel here you tell them but there is something here imbalanced let's see here you might deal with a Leo cancer or Taurus there's a lot of fire energy here also this person who you are dealing like you passionately want to move forward but this person stops you because they feel like it's hard for them to believe that is something more out there temperance sag energy they need a lot of healing and a healing how other people treat them or how they treat other people or how they want to be treated ten of wands they they kind of don't see how they can do that thing and I feel here this person done a lot on they they are life also you might deal with somebody here Scorpio that they don't really know how to rest they always could work 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 they always feel attached to something or they need feel the need of always do 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 okay eight of swords speak to me here two of cups lovers one more ten of swords they do love you they do want to be with you but they don't feel how if like they feel like love or relationships are a hard work they need to put so much or it feels like whatever choice they make is hard work okay but I feel here they they do love you if you are 
around somebody who've been committed with somebody else, this person choose to end those things. But it's still a lot of things to deal with whoever they've been in in the past. Okay? I feel here this person choose to move or to come forward towards you. But they just ending here something. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Three of Wands. They might be at the distance and they might tell you that they are moving on from whoever. They not belong anymore. But there are children involved in that situation. And I feel here, this person is kind of, you might talk to them, you might be that person like, yes, let's do it, let's work things. But they are messages, they are talk, because I see them at the distance here, or you at the distance, like there's not as much substance as you used to. There is love here. It's kind of whoever you deal here with an earth sign, fire sign. Somebody might have here Gemini in the chart, but I feel here fire and earth energy here. They at the distance. And whatever they, they tell you is not as before. Because started here like an, not a balanced energy here world definitely it is at the distance it is physical distance but i don't feel it's emotional distance because things will change and they are about to change also as you know here eight of wands is my timing card i feel here it's 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 a matter of weeks they might told you they get divorced or separated or they it's done and over because something here, it's done and over for sure for them. But they need some times here. They've been very much patient with their process. And I feel here, they come to you right now. They come to you. If was, if start something here, like a third party, I feel here this person come forward to you. Although I see you are single, Scorpio, here. Okay, I feel here they need to to end up their stuff and they are coming towards you so they do want to be with you the passion and love is towards you or vice versa you can flip the energy and it's just a matter of couple weeks for them to come for you towards you these things could start in may but it's kind of four weeks eight weeks as we speak right now they are coming to you loves Let's see here, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they require a little more patience. Yeah, things might, might start slow here, but they are coming to you. They are coming to you. You might strongly deal with somebody who have a lot of earth in the chart. Okay, could be slightly younger than you are, but they are coming. Snail pace, but they, but they coming here. Okay, one advice for the Scorpios, one advice, four of swords, it's kind of, yeah, you need to take my time, you don't need to take any actions towards them, you don't need to do anything right now, okay, one more. And I feel here you don't really trust if they will come or not. It's kind of you are at that point that no, they, they are not. I don't trust it. I don't trust. There is something here is like I don't trust the process. You might be very much like getting more information. But I feel here is very much in your detective mind because all the water signs, you know, they are good detective, detectives. Like, get more information. What they say is not like, I don't believe it, but I need to check it in. Star. Again, patience, healing, 
and they will be moved. There's very beautiful energy here. Also, you got protection from the angels here. We have our Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Michael over here. So, it's just, it's just a matter of couple weeks, loves. And again, air energy. It's in your thoughts in here. So, you feel you don't believe it. You you hoping. You still hoping for them to to tell you the truth. For them to come, and it's like you are a fifty fifty energy here. Are they coming? Are they moving forward? Will they come to me? I really want to. It's kind of just let it go. Let the energy of healing coming towards you, and you will see. There is coming. Alrighty, Scorpios. Thank you for watching, loves. Being here on the channel. Lovely weekend energy for you. Happy full moon for all of you. And we'll see you next time. Namaste.